XRP News, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Ripple Stablecoin is coming very, very soon. Remember, Brad Garlinghouse just recently at North Korea Blockchain Week said not months, but weeks away is Ripple Stablecoin. And they're launching in a particular area, and it might not shock you, but I'm going to explain why they're doing it in this video. This is where you come for your XRP news, your crypto news, everything. We've got you covered right here on this channel. So make sure you guys drop your X's in the chat, smash the like button, let me know you're here, and subscribe to the channel. So with that being said, Ripple, of course, is developing their own stable coin backed by U.S. Treasuries. We've been talking about this for a while. Very, very bullish for the entire Ripple company in the XRP ecosystem. This is going to provide a ton of liquidity for XRP and obviously use case. All of that's already there, but it solidifies it even more. But Ripple is eyeing Japan for the RLUSD launch amid U.S. regulatory challenges. We know Ripple's been, you know, in the lawsuit with the SEC since 2020. And the United States has just not really decided what they want to do with stable coins. It's one of the big issues actually right now. Of course, CBDCs are big uh, in other parts of the world. People are speculating the United States might want to do that as well. Of course, if Donald Trump gets in, he said no, 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 no CBDC. So there's a lot of confusion right now around XRP, around CBDCs, around all of this crazy uh, kind of environment right now. But Ripple's eyeing Japan for its launch uh, amid U.S. regulatory issues. Now, uh, Ripple's trying to challenge USDT and USDC in the $170 billion stablecoin market with their RLUSD, uh, again, debuting in Japan. Now, Ripple's already a leading player in the crypto market, top 10 crypto, we know that. Uh, they outpaced Ethereum back in 2017. But this is a strategic move to pivot toward Japan. And I'll tell you why. Because the United States is within this U.S. mess uh, that is the regulatory environment in crypto here in the United States, Ripple's been looking at Japan as a country with more transparent and constructive crypto-related laws already in place. Now, as of late, the FSA of Japan has also come up with conclusive laws for stablecoins, becoming a potential and attractive option for Ripple's expansion policies. Brad Garlinghouse recently tweeted two days ago, great to meet the representative uh, in Tokyo this week. Japan's leaders are committed to advancing crypto and blockchain tech through clear frameworks and constructive policy that protects consumers and enables innovation. Uh, these discussions highlight Japan's commitment to fostering this innovation in blockchain. They have been a huge supporter of Ripple. Uh, Ripple's technology already big uh, in most Asian countries. Japan, one of those. Uh, South Korea is another one. Uh, now, the strategic pivot to Japan goes well with its need for a more welcoming regulatory environment, but it also places the company on tap for potential realization in the entire Asian market. There are a ton of potential investors. And, you know, I recently was talking with a good friend of mine who comes on the Crypto Breakfast Club Twitter spaces. He believes that China is basically gearing up to go all in in crypto. And imagine if Ripple goes there as well. Now, some of you may not like that if you're a United States citizen, but here's the great thing about DeFi, the great thing about crypto. You could still invest, right? If you could put those issues to the side. And that's how I'm looking at this. I still think XRP has upside because the potential, even if it doesn't go well in the United States, the potential all around the world. And we know that Ripple is infiltrated into Asia already, Japan in particular, South Korea, uh, and then obviously in the Middle East where there is a ton of money. They're looking to diversify there out of oil, right? And into these new emerging technologies like AI, robotics, and blockchain. Ripple is really, really well positioned here, guys. Now, what are the implications for the global stablecoin market with Ripple coming in here? Well, RLUSD is set to compete directly with USDT Tether and USDC from Circle by transacting on the XRP Ledger and the Ethereum blockchain, right? They're utilizing both here. Ripple wants to leverage its existing tech infrastructure to enter the $170 billion USD peg stablecoin sector. It's been said that this opportunity uh, for quick entry into what is poised to be a huge market is strategic for Ripple. They're coming in here right before they believe is the next big blast off in the market. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. This is where you come for all your XRP and crypto news. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.